I know I see you walking. You're walking the catwalk. Yeah, we see you. You're way up high. Yes, you're talking. You're talking to your YouTube fans. Yeah. I don't want you falling, though. Okay, come down the regular way. Well, there you are. Okay, come down the regular way. You know how to get down. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hi, this is Joanna. Welcome to Moonwater Tarot. I hope you all had a beautiful Valentine's Day. So um, this is the bi-weekly, uh, just so you're aware of that, so that I can get the monthly in during the last week. But the other readings are weekly readings. So, and I just wanted to touch upon, a lot of people have been asking about my cards. And uh, I've had them for 20 years, so I no longer have the box. But um, I found this card, and it is, um, the deck is by... Con well, it's called Connolly Tarot Deck. It's by Eileen and Peter Paul Connolly. So hopefully you can see that pretty clearly. Uh, you can get them on Amazon uh, or get them at Amazon, I guess I should say. And so, all right. And then the other thing is I'm going to be pulling a card from uh, Doreen Virtue's Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle Cards towards the end of the video. So just wanted to share that with you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, thanks. Bye. Hi, Sagittarius. This is your reading for the weeks February 15th through the 28th, 2016. So let's see what the spirit guides want to share with you. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, February 15th through the 28th. So what is coming up? 2016. The Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, one more time here. All right, so let's take a look and let's see here. Sagittarius, February 15th through the 28th, 2016. Okay, so we have, oh my gosh, the Four of Wands. Okay. The Justice card in reverse. And let's see here, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so let me get this out of the way here. Okay, wow. Um, why do I get the feeling that this re recently came up for Sagittarius? I, uh, I'm just getting this feeling. Now, I'm not sure about that. But um, I feel that some of you in the next two weeks, I'm getting like there is a sense of movement or direction. What I, I'm, I'm picking this up almost as a physical move. And now for some of you, I feel that either something has happened or possibly like where there's some kind of repairs or on the home and 
Uh, and I feel like physical repairs, and there could be something going on legally that is like taking forever. It's almost like the red tape or waiting. I don't know if this is insurance money that you're waiting for, uh, like if there was damage done to the home and there's repairs needed and you're waiting for money to come through or get approved. Maybe this is also a loan. Uh, maybe you're trying to buy a house or something like that. And I feel like there's a holdup. But then for some of you, if this is the situation, I feel like by the end of the two weeks, there's something that comes through. And so if there's a holdup like with uh, the justice system or legally or insurance, I feel like somebody has your back. I don't know if this is a family member or a friend, or, you know, until the money comes, comes in, they'll, they'll help you out. Could also be that, uh, something does come through. Maybe you don't get all of it. And that's why the justice is in reverse. It's almost like justice is slow to come. Uh, but I feel that something happens in a positive way. Now, I'm also picking this up as I almost feel like there's, I don't know if there's a need for, uh, ex, I don't know, I don't know how to say this. Um, this could be almost, I'm almost looking at the King of Pentacles as a fatherly figure here. So I don't know if there's uh, approval for or some traditional situation where because I'm picking up like marriage and I don't know if somebody needs to approve or maybe there's something legal you know like waiting for a visa or something to come through so that you can get married and something is holding it back so this could be, I don't know, marriage license, but something legally uh, may not be allowing for either a move. So I don't know if this is uh, possibly like with the military, you're waiting to hear like where you're going to be stationed or you're re waiting for the red tape or the go ahead. That's one way. Um, well, that's another way that I'm picking it up. I feel like there are choices here to be made. I also am picking up that there may be a situation like a health situation where things are a little off balance. And I feel like with some assistance that uh, something comes to fruition. So this, uh, I'm, I feel like for some of you, this could be childbearing because I'm getting, uh, I don't know, I'm getting like the fruits of your labor. So I'm getting like labor in terms of work, but also labor in terms of childbearing. So I feel like if there's an adjustment or hormones checked that, you know, we go from, you know, this possibility to like, you know, all these fruits and everything. Uh, you know, there's growth. Now, something else that I'm picking up is I feel that there could be, it's interesting because this is Libra and this is Taurus. And I almost feel like there could be something legal going on within a family. So, for example, like divorce or uh, maybe somebody has, I don't know, they're, maybe they've met with an attorney, but they don't know if they want a divorce or, uh, you know, there's, there's something that is holding somebody back, possibly, legally and it could have to do with divorce it could this also could have to do with money that's supposed to be coming in uh through the court system or 
I don't know if this has to do with children, like child custody or child support. I also am picking up that... Let me see here. It's almost as if what... There's like an expansion. It's, you know, from... I don't know. I get this growth. But... So... I feel it almost as if there possibly could be something that is not justified going on with a family or uh, relationships or marriage or something like that, but then it comes out positive. But I also feel like that there is almost, when I think of the justice card too, I feel like with it in reverse, that either it can be a delay or it can be that someone is possibly hiding something. Because I'm really focused on this pentacle and it's almost like the pentacle is so big here. It just seems to be like blocking Almost like um, the attention's being drawn here so that we focus on this pentacle and not kind of looking at what else is going on. That's, um, this is a little bit more in, you know, a, a negative way that I'm picking this up next to the justice card in reverse. So there may be, it's almost like someone's trying to distract somebody or do something so you know like over here over here and that's why the justice card is in reverse because something is being hidden or the truth is not being revealed and you know somebody's trying to attract and oh my gosh look at what i have here uh, so that you don't notice something behind something or that something else is going on that's Slight that that can be something a little bit more negative that I'm picking up. I feel like that's for a small group. So, uh, but I very much feel that uh, there could also be a need in the next two weeks to really kind of assess and watch your money spending. Because I almost am picking this up, not so much like, you know, someone's hiding things in a relationship, but I almost feel like this is possibly something got imbalanced with money or finances and somebody's trying to cover it up. So I, I don't know if this was through, you know, like somebody took a risk or a gamble at something and it didn't kind of, didn't quite come out the way that somebody was hoping it to. You know, the, the books are a little off balance or something's, you know, off balance. So, um, I don't know. That's just, that's one way that I'm picking up it up. Now, for, I think the majority of you, like I said, positively, that, what started out as something small, even though we have justice in reverse, uh, that there is something fruitful in, in the end, or somebody has your back, is how I'm, I'm reading this for the, the majority. And some of you, you know, with the justice card, it's definitely number 11, which reduces down to a two. So there may be a choice to make in the next two weeks. This could be about, as I stated earlier, a move or waiting to hear. Maybe there's two options uh, that you have to pick from, whether it's, I don't know if it's two people or two job opportunities or maybe two homes Something like that. Um, so that is what I'm feeling for you, Sagittarius. And uh, let me get those cards out. And let me bring this up here. 
Okay, so these are the Doreen Virtue cards, and let's see what comes up in addition to what I've spoken about. All right, for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, let's see here. Okay, I'm being drawn, I think, to this card. So let's see what this is. Improving health. It says, uh, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for your comforting reassurance about this situation. So, uh, and this definitely makes sense. I mean, look at how we've got, you know, the grapes and fertility. And, you know, we go from this kind of, you know, the barren wands, even though the justice card, let me lower this here so you can see it. This justice card is in a reverse. This, you know, could mean like a, a hindrance or a delay, but then see all the the fruits, like the fruits of your labor. So this very much in the positive sense is very beautiful and very telling. So, and, you know, the reassurance, like how I said somebody has your back or that maybe there's red tape with uh, finances or or something health-wise that I was talking about. There could be an imbalance, but then things get better um, because we have all this productivity and growth from the little grapes to the big ones. So very beautiful. So, uh, now remember that the, this is a, a general reading. So if you would like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. And I hope that this helps brings you some guidance, Sagittarius. Um, it, because I feel like there's improvements. And even though there may be some hindrances, things are growing. For the most part. All right. Have um, a beautiful two weeks and I will talk to you soon. All right. Take care. Bye.